Oh, you want me to tell the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the other story? Of course. Okay. We do season one. I'm with Jay McCarroll, the season one winner at the Oyster Bar at Grand Central Station here in New York, going through his winning contract. And we have two copies. We're going through it simultaneously, and we both reach page 11 and look up at each other with wide, wide eyes, saying, and I look at him and I say, you can't sign this. He said, I won't sign it, because it said that whatever Jay McCarroll earned from that point forever, 15% would go to Miramax. 15% of his design work, his teaching work, if he worked at McDonald's, it would be 15% forever. So it ended up being a huge humiliation for Miramax to have the winner of the show turn down the winning. Mm. Um, but he did, and I was proud of him. So when they came back and said there, there will be a season two, I said, well, good luck, because you're not doing it with me, based on this. So once again, they said, oh no, we'll get rid of all this, and, and there will be no strings attached. So let's fast forward to season 13. I am at the Met, the Metropolitan Museum dining room, where we had our lovely lunch. I'm, I'm at the, in the dining room with Sean Kelly, the season 13 winner, and Alexander Knox, one of the season 13 designers, who I actually didn't want on the show. And I didn't want him on the show because he, he had not yet graduated from design school. I said, what do you do? You win season 13 and you go back to be a senior? Mm. He said, yeah. I said, it, doesn't, it shouldn't work that way. Don't do this now. Well, he did. So, I'm with Sean and Alexander, and Alexander looks very perplexed. What's the matter? He said, I, I just, I, I don't know what to do for my senior thesis. I said, well, it's easy. Take the bright spots, the, the, your best moments on, on in season 13, and, and extrapolate, explore them further. He said, I can't do that. I said, why? He said, because we're not allowed to. I said, what do you mean you're not allowed to? We're not allowed to have access to anything that we did on the show. The Weinstein Company owns everything. I said, what? So I left the lunch. I wrote an email to all the people in this sphere, mm -hmm. Weinstein, my agent, my lawyer, Lifetime, Sarah Ray, our showrunner, and I said, I just heard this so much. Is this true? Or is there, has there been a misunderstanding? And I hear back from Harvey's right hand that, oh no, this is very much true. So I wrote back a very thoughtful and succinct email saying, then I hope you will understand why it is that I can no longer be associated with this show. Nothing about you've deceived me for mm. 12 years or 12 seasons, you're a bunch of lying, deceptive assholes, nothing like that. Just, I'm sure you will understand why I can no longer participate. Well, I'm happy to say that all hell broke loose. And largely in, in the following vein. How dare you tell us how to operate this show? And I said, I'm not telling you how to operate the show. You operate it any way that you want to. I'm merely saying, I won't be part of it. So, there were many weeks of negotiations between the Weinstein Company lawyers and my lawyer. And my lawyer basically said, as much as I love hating on the Weinsteins and, and, and dealing with them in this capacity, this isn't gonna happen. And I said, okay, it, then we're no worse off than we were before. Mm -hmm. um, but then something did happen. They changed the contract for season 14. 
And my response was, that's all well and good, I'm happy to hear it, but I want those conditions retroactive through season two. And my lawyer said, that's never gonna happen. And it did. Wow. So I very proudly went back to yeah. season 14 and let's not get overly enthusiastic about things because wait till you hear. We shoot season 14, it's done. We segue into, into Project Runway Junior, which I love. If I had a choice between seniors and juniors, I'd take the juniors any day. I love those kids. So we, we do Project Runway Junior, and we invite three mentors from Project Runway. Um, Amanda, Nick, and Sanji from various seasons of the show. And in a behind the scenes, I say to them, so how did you feel when you got the email from the Weinstein company saying that your intellectual property is now back and you own everything? What email? Mm. I said, what? We haven't received an email. So the Weinstein company person, my alluded to earlier is on the set and co coincidentally my agents on the set so I walk into the production room I call them both out and I say to the Weinstein person whose name is Barbara how do you explain this and she said oh oh the letter's going out later this week I said every expletive imaginable about how dare you deceive me like this. And I said, were it not for these kids, I would walk off the set and I would never come back. But because they are here, I'm not holding them hostage. But how dare you, how dare you do this? Um, it was awful, awful, awful. awful. So they lied. I mean, what what do you need to do? Yeah. Sue them? I'm not going to do anyway. So that was the end of that? Yeah. Oh. I told you I wasn't going to make you relive. You said you didn't want to relive it again. Oh, but there were tons of things I haven't it. said. <laughs> there are tons of For other things. For next time. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because it really is quite a, it's quite a, and people don't know any of this stuff. But, uh, but also, what's with these people who just lie to your face yeah i don't understand that to me like well i don't even understand lying like i don't, I don't even understand it it's life is so much easier when you just say what's well, true when you lie you have to remember yeah. what you said right, it's more when you tell the truth yeah it's the truth it's the truth that always stays with you you're not going to forget it when project runway became a success my mother said to me you know i don't understand why you haven't lied about your age and dyed your hair <laughs> please well, you wouldn't need to do you anything know what like I found that. Out? My mother had been lying about my age. She was making me three years younger than I actually am. Go get out of here. Your mother yeah. was lying about your age? So oh. she wanted me to usher in a corresponding lie. I'm not doing it. I Why did she I want am. you to be younger? She know. thought you would have a better shot in Hollywood? I, I have no idea. She's the one who kept saying to me, this is your 15 minutes of fame and it's counting. But it went on and on and on. So why why do you think she said that? 